Well, we've told you that one Kern nursing home accounts for more than half of the Golden Empire's COVID-19 related deaths. Well, tonight the county has come up with a plan to help all Kern County nursing homes during this challenging time. 17's Aton Wallace has the details. The Kingston Healthcare Nursing Facility has been hit hard by the COVID-19 outbreak. The latest numbers, 108 confirmed cases and nine deaths, more than half of all COVID-related fatalities across the Golan Empire. Last week, the state said all California nursing facilities must come up with plans to test residents and staff within 21 days. But the county says that could just be too long in the case of Kingston, which is why Kern has come up with its own plan. The overall goal is truly to make sure we don't have another facility that experiences what we've seen happen. And that's why Kern's chief communications officer, Megan Pearson, says the county is launching a COVID testing response team of medical professionals to assist Kern's skilled nursing facilities. This team is going to work with all of the 19 skilled nursing facilities in Kern County, and they will find out if they're capable of doing their own testing, and if not, we'll send nurses out to do the testing of their staff for them. Technically, oversight of skilled nursing facilities is the state's responsibility. However, the county can get involved and already has supplied personal protective equipment and on-site training to all skilled nursing facilities in the Golden Empire. We recognize that this is a state-regulated facility, but these are our residents, these are our families, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that we're answering uh, the call. So you may be wondering who will pay for the COVID response team. Well, Pearson tells me the goal is for the state to reimburse the county 100%, but she notes the reimbursement process could take months, if not years. Meantime, the COVID response team is set to be up and running by this Friday. In Bakersfield, Aton Wallace, 17 News.